Yeah. Top of his songs today. That baby shark. I started the show out with Cat Flushing the Toilet. Any of you ever heard that song? It just goes over and over again. Cat Flushing the Toilet. Cat Flushing the Toilet. I was saying another thing. Yeah. <laughs> what you were bringing in here. But I thought... Yeah, you better behave. You better behave. Yeah. Oh, just because you go to Mexico, you think you're all of that. I'm all of that, right? I learned how to say lots of good things in Mexico. Uno I mas. think we need a bigger box. Uno mas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cerveza, por favor. <laughs> oh, thank you. So you see, understood that. I did that. Because of that sexy Hispanic voice. I love, I love Spanish. I think it's like the, one of the sexiest languages in the world. So I was very happy just sitting around listening to people speak Spanish. They're probably saying, look at that fat old white lady. And I'm no, like, they don't think oh, like that. They don't think like that. <laughs> no, I know. You're thinking. I know. They're sweethearts. And uh, we had a wonderful time. We were in the Yucatan Peninsula. My daughter, Ali, and I went for her 25th birthday. I am. That had to be so much fun. Oh, it was so much fun. And I, until we were snorkeling in the cenote, and we looked up, and there was a crocodile in the water. <laughs> and I told you, I could be <laughs> grab and make some boot and a hat. I would have. I could have. Let me tell you something. I mean, they, it's like, it was no big deal. I guess it wasn't. It was a little one. It was only like five feet long. Um, but cheap really big. <laughs> it was kind of <laughs> scary. But apparently, oh, hola, como esta, Jack? Yes, muy bien. You too? Um, Anyway. Don't talk like that because you're going to build a wall around you. Oh, yeah, so I can't talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, no, uh, <laughs> but anyway, we had a great time. The Yucatan is very safe. If anybody's worried about going to Mexico, I'd strongly suggest going down to Tulum and further south to uh, Bacalar or someplace like that because it's really safe. It's beautiful. Um, the people are lovely and wonderful, and the food's unique because it's Mayan food there. It's more Mayan food than the, uh, than the traditional Mexican food that we're interested in uh, here. And a lot of seafood and fresh food. And I food. have a lot of seafood here. I see food. I anyway, eat. I know. Me too. I eat healthy. But anyway, so I have to tell you the thing. So we're, my daughter, we're, we're staying at this really lovely place called the Alia, A-L-E-A, Tulum. If anybody wants to go there, highly recommend it. Um, and um, across the street from it, this dirt thing, is this, like, uh, what's called a cenote. And the cenote is like where uh, there's these deep fissures and cracks in the water and fresh water's in there. But ocean water comes up, so it's kind of a half ocean, half fresh, and there's a lot of caves and caverns you can scuba dive or, or you can uh, snorkel and whatever. And so we get in there, and it's, it's really big, and you can go way back around for miles and paddle around. There's all mango growth, so you can't get out of it if you wanted to until you get to the place you can get out. And they said, we're going back there, and the first day we went around a little bit, we didn't go back too far, and I wanted to go back further, but I was nervous because they said they have a crocodile in the area, and you should have a guide. And I thought, well, you know, okay, I'll bring a guide, and we can eat them first, you know. So... So we get back there, and he said, the guy's said, no, don't worry, just, you know, when you kind of talk about on the rocks this time of day, just don't panic, don't, you know, don't fluff your feet very hard, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so we get there, there's a big sign, just danger, crocodile area, <laughs> and he's not on the rock. And, and then you can see this guy is visibly shaking. He goes, uh, okay, I have to tell you something. He's in the water. He's not <laughs> on the rock. So really be still, and you go to be quiet, and don't do anything dramatic, and don't have to do in the water with the crocs. Yes. yes. I, I, well, I, in my head, I was screaming and I was I was swimming away, but I didn't stay cool. I was like, okay, <laughs> and I got out there, you know. <laughs> what did the croc have to say? You yeah, yeah, I did. He, uh, <laughs> no, a what croc, a croc of shit. Yeah, it was a crocodile rock. Let me tell you. <laughs> I should have played that today for Elton John, but today all the songs are from my cat, Boo Boo. Yeah, I'll be right back for one oh, second. Where are you going? I'm going to make a, oh, make a pee pee. <laughs> It's gonna go <laughs> but anyway, so I'll finish the story. So we're in there and he's in the water. And of course, I'm panicked. My 25 year old hasn't lived long enough to be afraid. So she's uh, <laughs> so she's like, Andrew, come on, let's go up there and get a picture. I'm like, uh, no, no. And so I, I give my camera to the guy because I'm like, let him get eaten up. You know? <laughs> but anyway, so with long story short, we all, of course, survived it. But it was kind of, kind of scary. And then I, I saw a friend of mine who was in Belize in the airport. She was coming back. And we were just a few miles from there. And we went south for the day. And um, she was in the water, and they said, don't worry, there's no sharks. And he looks up, and there's this shark that they're about, up outside of the Great White. They're a little smaller than that in the water and <laughs> above them. So she had a similar experience. So let me tell you something. If you go anywhere down around there, and you ask them a question like, oh, is it dangerous? They're going to say no. Are there sharks? No. Are there crocodiles? No. But just know that they're lying. <laughs> there are. So anyway, we had a great time. So I'm back. Um, I, uh, I missed you guys. I missed everybody. Having some fun, Miss Henry, Miss the show. Um, but you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, and I had a good time.
<laughs> anyway, today we're going to talk about some oddities, and we've got some news that, uh, you know, of course, we have some fake news, and then we have news that you really wish was fake, but it's real, and news that should be fake, but it's not. So we're going to have a whole bunch of that, so that should be really fun. Uh, thanks to everybody who's tuning in. Let me say hi to the international camera. Hi, everybody. Uh, just want to say hi. Thanks for tuning in from, I know we're from Italy and Spain and, and Great Britain and China, even Russia. Russia? Huh? Okay. <laughs> it's collusion. Um, anyway, um, we have everybody from around the world who want to say hi. And again, I do it every time. I'm still going to do it. I'm sorry. We'll get rid of them. All right. <laughs> moving on. Um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to talk about some oddities on the, on the, uh, that have come up. So here's here's a really funny one that I found, and a skunk got his head stuck in a beer can. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Is that like being skunked? Like usually you were skunked if you were drunk, you know? I don't know what. Anyway, so in Massachusetts, a skunk somehow got its head stuck in a discarded beer can. You hear about this a skunk got its head stuck in a beer can? That's what it <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Henry. <laughs> he stinks and his head was stuck in a beer can. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so they had the, the animal control officer had to come out and get him out of there. I wouldn't want to touch them, but they did. I, I mean, who would want to grab a skunk, get him out of a beer can? I mean, oh, God, yuck. But they managed to do it. So, uh, and of course, the people had to have some, they had to go get some showers afterwards, of course. My yeah. dog always got hit with skunk. Yeah, it's my dog. Really fun. I know, isn't that something? My dog did too. I don't know why. They, 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 they keep going after him. It's mm-hmm. like, you think one time you'd learn, right? They don't care. Hi, Bill. Hi, Charlene. So you could go on there. Um, yeah, you think which is a cat? Like one time is all the take. That's all take me one time. Okay, that's it. You're not a cat. I'm moving on. No, I'm moving on. It's I love the cartoon with Pepe Le Pew. Oh, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> he pretends he's a cat. He goes up to cats all the time. He's always scheming on the cats. Yeah, no, that's why I've got cats on. Oh, right now it's cat cat scratch fever by Ted Nugent. See, Nugent. I can't say the day. Oh, I only got three hours sleep last night. I'm so surprised excuse. I'm still, I just, you just you know, only get two hours. You know what happened? I know I got an extra hour. I, I'm not used to the spring forward, fall back thing. So I how know. how far was it that you had to travel to get to where you were at in Mexico? Well, well um, I don't know. We were on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> we got on the plane. <laughs> they just stopped the you stop at the border. Uh, well, no, not coming in. If I were them, I'd build a wall and keep the Americans out because we're going to ruin the country. You can hear that. That's really the main <laughs> reason. That's why I keep the Americans from going down this road. The uh, you know free health care and all the uh, you know, drugs. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, yeah. uh, but we had a great time and uh, and met, met a couple of really wonderful young men. One guy we met um, that worked at the hotel. Was he cute? Yeah, really. See, that's young. A, my daughter yeah, thought he was what cute. Do you, what do you yeah. want, old? And um, you don't want old. So we were there and we wanted to go down to Bacalar, which is this really in the very southern part of Utah. It's just about two and a half hours north of Belize, and uh, it has a beautiful lagoon there. But you have to drive, and I was a little nervous I'd get lost, because I get lost going to, to, to my house to King Supers. Or <laughs> and uh, so we were just talking, and he said, I'll take you. So he then helped us figure out the car rental, and went along with us, and, uh, and and showed us this beautiful place that he told us about, and it was really great. So, hey, Rich. Rich Burns is watching. Um, and we should give them a plug. I think coming up very soon, Apple Two Day Spa, and in fact, I, I believe you can call them, um, is that they're, they're closing that business and all the stuff in there is being sold like the biggest, coolest thrift shop sale you've ever seen. I mean, there's all kinds of great hair things that would cost you normally a fortune. They're new. You can go there and buy them, like Biolodge and all that stuff. And then they have cabinets and chairs and artwork. So put down there to Apple Two Day Spa before it's all gone. Give them a call so you know that they're going to be there. You know, I kind of was taught, you know, watching the show this morning a little early. It was about this guy that went to the strip shop and bought this coat. Uh-huh. And every time somebody put on that coat, all these different things would happen. Like, right. So they went and gave it back away and gave it to somebody else. And they, this other person put it on and all these events started happening to that person. <laughs> so he took it off, left it somewhere. And somebody said, hey, look at this coat I found. They put it on. And each time they would put it on, there was all these events they would experience. That's weird. Yeah, that's something. I know. I, I just actually were talking about that. Well, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, do. sometimes I get confused. I don't know what the hell I pull. Yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> the first shop. Let me tell you what happened. Well, <laughs> I, I'll tell you what happened with me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two days ago, I went to this big fundraising thing with, with uh, like a thrift thing, and I bought this cool pair of black shoes, and I bought them. I said, oh, this pair, how much are they? Ten bucks. They're like, okay, new. And in the box. And they were these Salvador Ferregos or something, or I, well, I can't remember what was on it. Anyway, they were, I looked it up on the internet, they were $670 Lord, shoes. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is pretty cool for 10 bucks, you know? <laughs> it's great. Um, so anyway, here's another oddity. Um, 
Oh, okay. I, the, the words oh. I went and bought, because I went to the same thrift show mm-hmm. that you did. You probably didn't see me there because you were ignoring me. I, uh, well, I yeah. found some. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I found some shoes, too, some old lady shoes. It didn't fit me. But I thought you were in the underwear section. <laughs> Looking for women's they underwear. They don't sell underwear at that thrift <laughs> show. Rhonda. There was Henry Chan on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the woman's bathroom. It was him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, Just give it to me, Rob. Boom, you get that. I, 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 I miss you, man. I miss you. I've been traveling all over the world. You know, I went to Thornton, North Glen, <laughs> Keep Supers, and I couldn't <laughs> find it. <laughs> anyway, um, so there was this woman. Now, okay, this might be a clue, guys. Let me tell you something. This could be a big clue. Don't marry anyone that would do this. Okay. Any woman. Any anyone. I don't care who you marry. Don't marry somebody that would do this. Women. Woman was accused of embezzling ninety three thousand dollars from a company for her wedding. <laughs> Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. I know. So she embezzles $93,000 and she uses it for her wedding. <laughs> okay, now, I'm sorry. If you're marrying that, you are in big dip. You are in big trouble. It's you trouble. are in super trouble. Okay, like run. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, anybody object to this? I do. I'm the groom and I do. <laughs> Get out. What she, look what she used it for. Oh, yes. she. Let's see what she used it for. She said, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was her wedding. <laughs> and a butt lift. <laughs> so she got a butt lift and she paid for her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, yeah. go figure. What an ass. <laughs> what an ass. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, how stupid is this? <laughs> okay, well, there's a whole bunch of them. I gotta go back here. I know, who would do that? Who'd be an idiot? Okay. It, was her, her, it was her ex husband's. <laughs> yeah, in the company, probably. Yeah, that's, that would be that'd be the only reason to do it. Okay, let's see down here. There was another one that was really funny that I saw. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. This is so cute. There was a a man. Okay, now get this one. This is really dumb. <laughs> I, he steals a snack truck and eats nothing. He steals it. He just steals it. the truck, goes on a ride, and it's a little Debbie truck. First of all, what kind of man steals a little Debbie truck? Go out and get like a a big Debbie a Big truck. Mac truck or something. <laughs> or a big Debbie yeah, truck. Yeah, big Debbie truck. A little Debbie truck. Okay, I got it. So there's a little Debbie truck, and he. He takes off because he wants to visit his parents and his grandparents. Uh, they probably moved and didn't even tell you the address if you're like that damn dumb. Mm-hmm. So he takes it. His name is Joseph Toko, and he's from Elmira, New York. He swipes the truck, and they please catch him pretty quickly. He's in a little Debbie truck going down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> kind of easy to spot, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, probably, Breaker one night. Breaker, we're looking for a little Debbie truck that's been stolen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he's going to do time for stealing a little Debbie truck. Why? What's the, give I hate time. to be the guy in the prison, right? All these big guys in there. What'd you get? What'd you get, buddy? Oh, you don't have time for I stole a little Debbie truck. You know that. Come here, here, buddy. (laughs) We got something for you. (laughs) A little (laughs) Debbie. Oh, my God. A big Debbie. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, oh, my God. I got a big Debbie for you. (laughs) (laughs) Who would do that? People are so damn stupid. I can't believe it. What the fish fry? What the French fry? What the fool? (laughs) Where's the... Fire truck. Where's the little Debbie truck? <laughs> what is this? Is some, uh, some, uh, some thing for the fire truck or whatever. That's all you say. That. Really? Yeah, I, was really I don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> oh, that truck would be empty when they caught me. That's what Rick Lynch said. He said, hey, that truck would be empty when they caught me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Little Debbie's are gross. Steal something good at least. Like yeah. those, uh, Cherry pie things. Remember those? When you get them at 7 Eleven, your kids, those hostess cherry oh, yeah. pies. Oh, God. Don't buy them at McDonald's, though. Oh, no, they suck. They got like a little slit in the top of them. You look at it and just. Okay, I'm not going there. <laughs> and you're not going there. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, here's a story about a woman. This is actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. She survives a week in an SUV stuck in the snow. A whole week. She, she survives an entire week. Look at her. She doesn't even look like a mountain man. Oh, yeah, she does. Well, she kind of does. She's she's she looks a little rough. Yeah, she looks a little rough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe her face was frozen. <laughs> frozen. I, mean, I don't know. Hello. Anyway, what are you, Rhonda, what are you bringing here? I was trying here? to be nice. She's kind of scary looking now. <laughs> they should have left her in the snow. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> that's bad. So in Park Valley, Utah, uh, Michelle Rick Rickan uh, was stranded for a week in the snow, like all the avalanches and mud in rural Utah. And, but she was prepared, apparently, because she was able to, she always travels with an abundance of survival gear. And she had enough food and water in the SUV to last another week. So, you know, she was okay. And so a week later, they dug her out and found her, and she was just <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, dug her up. Dug hey, her what are you doing? She's yeah. got a whole uh, house. Well, you know, if you live in Colorado, we always have stuff. Like, I know yeah. in my truck, I've got 
blankets, I've got water, I've got flares, all guns. Kinds of, yeah, all kinds. Extra, I did have a gun in my trunk, but I lost it. You had that blow-up doll still. No, that's my husband's car. <laughs> he's got a sheep, a blow-up sheep. Because <laughs> he's originally from Utah. <laughs> and he's even got the sound effects on it. It says, Dad, Dad. <laughs> You're bad, bad. That's for our friends in Wyoming. We know you're, you're really bad. bad. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, you know Kentucky just passed a law that bestiality is illegal. They just passed it. You can't have sex with animals. If you oh, I thought you meant with just the no, woman. You beast. can't have sex with animals in Kentucky anymore. So but bestiality sorry. sounds like you're in and they a had, woman. That's your job. They actually had a website in Kentucky advertising that was legal, so people that were sick like that could go to Kentucky and have a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> this world has gone to hell in a handbasket. I'm telling you. Is that sick? I still want to know what the that explains. Victoria's that explains. Secret is. That explains all the Trump voters down there. <laughs> <laughs> what's Victoria's secret? Come on, tell me. Oh my what's God. Victoria's secret? She got no secret, honey. See, it, I know they're showing it all over. Yeah, she ain't got no secret. <laughs> and, and, and at my age, if you wear Victoria's secret, people wish you kept it secret. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't keep it back. Don't put it on. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, this woman survives two weeks in the snow, and she loves it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here's one. It's called a Boo Light Special. Not Boo Light. No, Boo. Like Boo. Like a ghost. In Wilmington, Massachusetts, a New England supermarket chain is trying to get rid of the rumors that the store is actually haunted. So let's see what the story says. Because that looks interesting. <laughs> I thought it. I thought the frozen food aisle. <laughs> it was coming right at me just after marijuana got legalized. No. <laughs> um Anyway, Market Basket says in a statement that, as far as we know, our stores, our stores are ghost-free. Someone posted a social media this month about seeing an apparition at a store in Wilmington, Massachusetts. The person said the ghost was an old Victorian-era woman in her nightgown. Why are ghosts always old people in nightgowns? You know, if she was camping, it was, intent, <laughs> it was an intense situation. So <laughs> I-N-T-E-N-T-S. That's good, Jack. You're right. That's funny. No. Uh, but why? It's always old yes. women in like Victorian in floating nightgowns around. Yes. floating around. Can't they ever have like I don't know, like some of those firefighters from the firefighter all camera? Oh, hey. Yeah, I saw the ghost. He was ripped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ripped six him. Pack. <laughs> you know, he was ripped. Then I ripped him. Right. That's what I you saw that man. I felt that Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, why does everybody have to see a ghost that's like some old woman or some old guy from the 1700s? A lot of people have died since then. Yes, it has been around. And a whole lot of people have died. A whole lot of people have died since the 1700s. Mm -hmm. So you think somebody could see a ghost like from yesterday or last yeah. week yeah. or even last year, but no, it's always just people from five million years ago. Well, there is a ghost in, in, in our elevator, right? And she is very nice. She's, she's always cornering. The other day, she caught me up in, in the third floor. Wouldn't let me go that way. Oh, sure. For two hours, I was stuck in the elevator. Uh huh. And then for three hours. Yeah. And she found I'm me. waiting. I'm waiting for the hook. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Henry? It's, it's, it was an elevating experience. Oh, God. An elevating experience. It just lifted me right up. Oh, shit. I can keep going. I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, where's the hook? Where's the hook? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. And you're sitting there listening. I am. I, I should know better than to listen to you. What the <laughs> hell is wrong? I mean, I've been on it's vacation. And yeah, I fell see, apart. you knew. I know you I knew. I fell apart. I just fell apart. Um, okay, so let's see what we got down here. Well, this is kind of not. Why could this never happen to me, by the way, when I was waiting tables or driving uh, vans from the airport for people when I was younger? Anonymous customer leaves a $2,000 tip to surprise waiters, and that was in Maine, Waterville, Maine. So wasn't that nice? It was a $48 check. He left a one thousand dollar chip. So either he's the most generous man in the world, or Grandpa escaped the Alzheimer unit. <laughs> I didn't know it. What's the other? You know? <laughs> Where is it? Got money again? <laughs> I can't figure that out. Right. <laughs> Hail, shit burn, save matches. <laughs> what happened? He's going all over town naked, leaving a thousand dollar chip. Why is he got to be naked? naked? I don't know because he knows he's funny. <laughs> I always told everybody I want to live long enough to show up, like when I not now. You'll make a comment. But I want to live long enough that if I'm seen out, I go to Burger King naked. In the middle of the night and scream the word come pop. And just watch what those people maybe I'll just do it when I get to about eighty anyway. Just watch their faces. What'd you say? You go to Burger King naked when you're like eighty. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's really ugly. It ain't a pretty sight at all. And scream the word come pot at two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do 
you think would happen? You could use those eighteen year old kids. <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't know what it was. They'd be like, "Can make it? I don't know." She might have on. They'd a, take it live. She might have on one of those. What are those wrinkly dogs? Everybody would take it live. Yeah. What are those wrinkly dogs with all the wrinkles? Wrinkles. Yeah, wrinkle dog. I have a wrinkle. They were thinking of a wrinkle dog suit on. <laughs> what is that? That person? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you think it would be like that? What? Like what you're saying. Yes, you look you know, I've never seen an well, 80 year old. Let's demonstrate naked. it. Let's demonstrate it right now. Oh yeah, sure. Do, let's not, do it. Let's I'm do it right now. I'm not eighty, I still Rhonda, Rhonda. I am not just, I know, but just I'm not old give enough. us give us a prelude. I'm not old enough. I still have some Give us a prelude. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Take it off. <laughs> Rhonda, take it off right now. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. Nope. scream come quat. Come quat, oh. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know See, what that should said. be beeped out. That should okay. just be beeped out. Beep. Okay. You're bad. You're bad. <laughs> no, doing. I thought that's what bad. Said. I said come quat. Like See, the fruit. See how that sounds like the fruit. Oh Everyone thinks God. that fruit sounds bad, but it sells good in the store. <laughs> <laughs> and if the guys put up, just, just stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't go there. I see you can't even say that word. People go nuts. Um, <laughs> here's another one. This week. This is a mix-up. Okay. Oops. <laughs> British Airway. You probably heard this on the news. A British Airway plane lands in Scotland and not Germany. So everybody gets on the plane. They think they're going to Germany and end up Edinburgh, Scotland. <laughs> I guess that'd be okay. Oops. How the hell does that even happen? <laughs> yeah. How does he know? I, mean, I don't understand it. My, my guess is that they have, you know, they uploaded the wrong digital maps or something in the plane or the wrong. I mean, or something. Who, I, how do you get that mix? How do you know. mix up a big giant? But they have to go across the ocean, don't you know, Scotland from yeah. there? I mean, it, oh, no, you don't. British, British, British no. you just go right up the thing. Germany, you would go across the ocean. So if yeah, you didn't go see right the ocean, the how about this, pilots? No ocean. You're probably going the wrong way. I bet it was female pilots. Oh, shut up. <laughs> probably a man. And he wouldn't ask directions if his life depended on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, do, how do they talk in Scotland? <laughs> What's the Scottish accent? Let's see if we can do one here. Or, or, or British. You know? <laughs> You're from Scotland. Oh, yes, right. You're from Scotland, man. And <laughs> you think not, you're carrying a big knife? I'm not too? asking directions. But <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go along this plane. You have a big, <laughs> big knife, but you don't use it. Yes. I, hey, lift up your tilt and see what direction the compass is pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God! Yeah, see, you didn't see the ocean. Don't go there. You're supposed to go across the channel to Germany. God, uh, uh, Hitler! <laughs> poor Germany. They're having all that problem with Brexit, right? They voted it down. I think. Yeah, no. Think about that. That's just some random name they give something where they they just mean bankrupt, not Brexit. Bankrupt. Is that what it means? I think yeah. it's because they want to leave the European system. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> if they do, their European system system's gone. Yeah, <laughs> they're bankrupt. Yeah. He's all these funny names. Look at this. New bike ride. We talked about that last See, year. See, you were looking for that. I, there, I found it for you, Henry. There you go. <laughs> I mean, oh, there's nobody over over 45 or over 50 allowed in this race. You know why? Yeah. They don't want parts getting stuck in the pedals and the spokes. <laughs> oh, ow! Beep, 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 Oops. Sorry. <laughs> anyway... Um, <laughs> Ouch. Look at this. I mean, I think that I look, hurt. Look at that. Just the thought of that. Hurt. I'm looking at a picture of this, and I'm going to tell you something. The size of the guy's butt is massive, and the size of the bicycle seat is like this. <laughs> How in the heck? You're, you're sitting there staring at naked seat. butt. Well, I'm looking at the seat thing. Where no, it's so you be. said the size of his butt. You're sitting there yeah, staring at naked butt. Not that good looking, believe me. There's a butt, and there's a seat that's going to be in that butt in about one second. It's like, oh, my God. Poor seat. Um, Philadelphia. Naked bicyclists say they were they were so cold riding around Philadelphia last mm -hmm. September that this year they're doing it in August. Okay. Organizers say the annual Philly Naked Bike. I'd like to Wouldn't go, that thing hurt up We front? should go there and report live. We should just no, go there. your saddles and, will go over the edge. Right? I, I'm telling you, if you. Yeah. <laughs> Would that hurt? Well, yeah, that seat's going to disappear when that guy sits on it. <laughs> uh, I mean, a naked bike ride <laughs> says that they've ridden in chilly weather. The last two September, the last two September, so they saddled up again in hopes that it'll be a scorcher. Oh, ouch. Oh, the sweat and the, oh, this is just making me sick. The nude ride was September eighth last year and September 9th this year and the year before that, with the temperatures reaching only 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 21 degrees Celsius. Now, you are very descriptive about this whole story. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell some me of some the cyclists wore their birthday suits, um, which accentuated accentuated body paint and glitter. I mean, you, I guess you could paint on, so if you didn't have abs, you could paint abs on or something, so you'd look better. 
<laughs> well, what, what else would you do? Oh, you get a lot of things. Not that. Uh, <laughs> and, and others wore underwear or masks, so nobody knew that they were naked because they wanted to see what they really looked like. And they peddled past sites, what, including Independence Hall and the Liberty really Bell. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know the people wearing masks, and it wasn't the guys that were down. <laughs> It was the other ones. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing a mask, but I'll go. And now it's going to be cold, so it's going to be cold. That's even worse. <laughs> okay, anyway. Rhonda! Well, I mean, seriously, who would do you. this? You. Yeah. I'm looking at that picture. It's bad, and I'm the cute one in there. I'm like, oh, God. Ooh. What? Okay. Women do that too. Well, they're gonna do what they should have a rule. You have to be like have a good looking body or something. You gotta be all ripped and yeah. Good like, oh muscle my god, I have to have a drink after that. It you gotta be well endowed, yeah. all three. Mm -hmm. All three well endowed. <laughs> well endowed, okay. ripped and young. And young. And young. <laughs> old people don't look good in that. I'm telling you, they just don't. All right, let's get back here to oddity. And, and back to the show. <laughs> and back to the show. You gotta really make sure. Really make sure. Really make sure. Really. Really. That's right. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. The Rolling Show. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, topics. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, oddity, that's it. I'm staying away from politics because it's too screwy. There, there, it's, there's something wrong. Oh, please. I'm not, yeah, there is something wrong. I'm not even going to go into it, but yeah. Um, I'm just staying away from it because it's all screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I like the idea of the lady. Still in $93,000. For her wedding. And for a bucket. Oh, I know what. There was one in here I saw. It was this guy. God, the big win. Who would marry this guy? He dresses up in a bunny suit to do a wedding proposal to his then fiance, now wife. That's bad enough. And then on their 10th anniversary, she comes back from a trip on the airplane and he dresses up in a bunny suit again to reenact the proposal. Run. There's something wrong with that guy. I'm telling you, run. <laughs> that is like, the, I, I'd rather have a guy throw me across the airport and hit me in a suitcase and dress up <laughs> like a bunny. I mean, oh my God. How are you? I think my husband rolled over in bed and he said, let's get married. Seriously? Yeah. That's it. Let's get married. Okay. <laughs> that was it. Nothing romantic, of course. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, New York Councilman named the tallest politician. And now there's people fighting about that. Because, you know, this is what politicians should do. Talk about how tall they are. And then some other politician says they're taller. And then they spend a bunch of time deciding who is the tallest politician. How about solving the problems? That's right. They okay. don't know how. Jesus, God. I mean, you get in there, and that's what they get. I don't care if you're a city councilman. I don't care if you're a state senator. Stop doing stupid crap and start working on the problem. They don't work on anything. No, they don't. I'm sick of all their way out of it. Yeah, it's just, oh, get an award for the tallest politician. Who gives a shit? How about getting an award because you're the politician that helped us solve poverty? <laughs> or helped us figure out the massive screwed up healthcare system? Or <laughs> help us, you know, let's, let's do that. You know, God, I, I saw that and I wanted to go find that guy and I wanted to trip him because I'm doing a tree. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, what, what is a dig, didger, didgeroo, 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 didgeroo? Didgeridoo, that's what it's called. It's in Australia. Now look how that sounds. Didgeridoo. I thought it was poop. You know, Australian police locked down train station over didgeridoo. 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 Some guy pulled out his didgeridoo. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like, it sounds like I thought it was kangaroo poop. Uh, official name for kangaroo poop is didgeridoo. I don't, anyway, so let's see what it is. Canterbury, Australia. Okay, I don't know what a didgeridoo is. <laughs> didgeridoo? I don't know. Did you do it or did you do? <laughs> did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> That's what my mom. What did you do? <laughs> did you redo? So is that like a dildo? <laughs> you can't use those words on my show. Now there's people that you know. Yeah, sorry. That's bad. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, it does, and it looks like did you redo? Did you redo? That's what it looks like. <laughs> did you redo? Like Canterbury, Australia. <laughs> Police in Australia set off a panic when they locked down a Melbourne train station on Thursday after the street entertainer's instrument. Was an instrument was mistaken. I told you, you were right. it was. <laughs> <laughs> for a rifle. You were right. for, for a rifle, no, it wasn't. It was mistaken know. for a rifle, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Commuters describe panic at Melbourne's Flagstaff station when police in body armor carrying assault rifles stopped a train in, in the morning rush hour. <laughs> Terrified passengers rushed out the <laughs> rushed in. They grabbed this thing. And it was a didgeridoo. <laughs> so I guess what what would happen? It's a polished wood indigenous. Um, he was he was they thought he was. Uh, Behaving suspiciously, but he was actually, he performed breathing exercises in preparation for his plane. So he's got this <laughs> weird thing, he's on the plane going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would call the police too, wouldn't you? I'd be like, uh, what's he doing? 
What's he doing? Well, he's playing the didgeridoo. Playing with his didgeridoo. Playing with his. No, you can't do that in public, buddy. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna go jail. Put that thing back in his case. I mean, uh, it's a weird thing. Yeah, no, didgeridoo. That's wild. I know. It's funny. You know what this is called on a cell phone? Look at you. You know the thing now if you have a new cell phone, you have to plug it in so you can listen to music. Mm -hmm. That little thing that dangles over there. You know what that's called? No. A didgeridoo? No, it's pretty close though. <laughs> a dongle. Oh, I've heard it. A I dongle. Know. Yeah, it's called a dongle. Oh, I always use the word dongle in the computer. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I was like, I went to the store and I said, I need this whole thing. And the girl goes, Oh, that's a dongle. I looked, I said, Really? That's what they named it. And then she starts laughing. So I said, Did you crack that? <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, it's a dongle. Because they use dongles for um, uh, locked up security. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, there's Peggy Lister. Say hi software. to Peggy. Hi, Peggy. That's the babysit Peggy. Poor thing. She survived too. <laughs> She's kind of screwed up. Wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at Ron just going to say, How I survived. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't believe her parents actually did that. But, you know, I love their parents. They're great people. They're both gone now. But <laughs> yeah, they still love me babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> she had fun, I guess. And who did you have over when you were babysitting? I never really had anybody over. I was I was pretty good about that because you know you got to pay attention to the kids. But you focus on the kids. <laughs> you tie them up or uh, I, I duct actually, tape them in actually, the closet. I'm so damn goofy. I had more fun playing with the kids than I would anybody else. So I didn't have <laughs> anybody over. Just had fun. I used to lie though. I don't know if it was Peggy or these other kids I used to babysit. That your parents said, "No, I have to be by nine." I went, "Okay." And then we just stay up as soon as we hear the gar garage jump in. Jump in. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, just stay up all you want." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, how are they? Oh, they're great. They went to bed right at 10 o'clock. It's just <laughs> fine. <laughs> God. Um, okay, so, oh, my God. I mean, they had fully armed officers. Everybody ran in there. I mean, can you imagine? Because it was still didgeridoo. Because it was didgeridoo. Because he was playing with his didgeridoo in public. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, here's another one that's really dumb. A drug suspect, suspect was caught. Uh, this is all Australia today. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Fleeting it's Australia. Down Trying to leave Australia with drugs. Get out of the continent. On a sea dew. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you, buddy, but the stone go across the ocean. Uh -oh. Really big waves. Doesn't work. So they caught him. They caught him in Papua New Guinea. He was Jeez. trying to get to Papua New Guinea. He didn't get there, of course. And on a personalized motor watercraft loaded with drugs. <laughs> he probably smoked something and got on there. Yeah. Probably got halfway <laughs> out to uh, about a quarter of a mile. Didn't know where he was. It was, it was wore out. Just kept going in circles. Oh, <laughs> 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 right around, around. Here's Janice Barnett. Hi, Janice. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> I don't know. My God, people are crazy. Um, that's that should be the new show. I might change the name. Just people are crazy. Let's see what we've got here. If there's anything else, do anything fun here? Uh, that's my baby. Oh, you did the naked bike, Greg. Uh, oh, that's stupid. Illinois governor. Anything that says Illinois governor, when it starts out with that, you can just figure they're going to end in jail. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to read the story. Illinois governor. Okay, he's in jail. Let's move on. <laughs> that guy's in Colorado, you know, whatever his name was. That last governor, for Brogovich or whatever. He ended up uh, in jail. Did you know that? No, yeah, they, they arrested some the Illinois governor. And he was all this fraud and all this other stuff. And then they convicted him. And they shipped him out here to the jail that's in uh, southern Colorado. How do you do that? How do you go from being the governor to being a jailbird? Same way you're going to do it if you're the president. <laughs> when they catch him. There's so many laws, you can't do anything. Well, yeah, you know, you can't do some things. Just the way it goes. <laughs> um, so Florida man Googles himself to find out which Florida man he is. That looks like a weird topic. Yes, go for, for it. Right, well, any, anything Google yourself doesn't sound right either, just to start out. <laughs> <laughs> Google, Google <laughs> Don't do that. All right, uh, you'll go blind. <laughs> 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 Susan Crew is watching. Hi, Susan. Mm -hmm. They have sunshine uh, HVAC for me. Really? Yeah, they're wonderful. Right up here. Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, so if anybody needs that and you're in Colorado, call them. All right, sunshine. All right, anyway, Orlando, Florida. Um, I did have a, a plumbing problem, but you? I solved it. My sink was all plugged up. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. I used my auger. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it got semi, and it got worse. You know what I did, which I can't believe happened to me? I have, I wear jeans all the time, and I, I never like a purse, so I put in my pocket, and I had gone to the bathroom, and I got up, and my car keys fell in the toilet just as it was flushing. No. Oh yeah, God. and the whole set of car keys, like the fob and everything, just went right down. I was like, <laughs> that was a $600 mistake. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I, I didn't figure they would, they're heavy. They're yeah. just, gone. Jesus. I, I stood there looking at like in disbelief for 10 minutes. So I tried and tried. I, 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 it must have been deep in there, but you know what worked? 
Right. Super hot boiling boil water. Yeah, it might work. I put it down Sometimes there. you need a plumber. Let me tell you. I know how to plumb. Uh, that's what everybody says, and that's why you need a plumber. <laughs> after you do that, after you try to fix it yourself and screw it up. To and save then you yourself, call them, yeah. what did you do here? Let me tell you the bad thing is we um, had a really bad plumbing thing because, you know, it was a do-it-yourselfer thing. So they hooked up the refrigerator with the ice thing, but it wasn't hooked up right. And just ask me, uh, after replacing the wood floors on the entire level, um, <laughs> let's see, uh, what else happens? Oh, the, it dripped through the, to the garage, which is underneath the house. Had to do the ceiling in the garage. Had to get a new garage door. Had to get new garage door tracks. Um, we had to get new, uh, all the all because, of you, all hooked because we hooked up a refrigerator. Like you know, you think, oh, I can do that myself. The ice maker line. Well, and then we were gone, and then it broke, and it flooded the entire house. It took two months for it to dry out. We had to do paint. We had to fix floors. We had to fix basement. So let me tell you something. Paying a guy 159 bucks or whatever the hell it is to come out and do it right is worth it. Do not touch plumbing by yourself. I know how to hook that up. I do it all the time. Okay, well, if it ever breaks, you're going to be sorry. I it has right never here. broken. Okay. <laughs> I know how to plumb. Okay. I don't believe you. I do. I don't believe you because if you did, you'd be making like $110 an hour instead of working here for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, there's Cha Cha. Hi, Cha Cha. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> God. Boy, that you took me out again. I, you just came back. Mm, that vacation helped you out. Oh, I tell you, I first went to Vegas. They, I, you know, I've never been to Vegas. Uh, don't go. It was <laughs> not worth it. Don't go. Well, that was fine, but I mean, you know, it's kind of crazy there. There was, there was all kinds of weirdos on the mall. It's just getting real seedy and gross, and it's like, you know what? Everybody's just going there. Just to, everybody's going there to to. It's like a big circus. Yeah, everybody's going there to misbehave. Because they can get away with it. Really? I'm going to Vegas. Yeah, you want. And so they're, they're, that's why they're going there. Let's face it. They're going there to misbehave. And so it's kind of, and people are doing things they'd never do in real life. And they're, it's ridiculous. You know, <laughs> like I took a picture with a naked guy. <laughs> again? I, no, no. Huh? Was, was it yeah, again? Yeah. Again? Yeah. But I mean, it's, it was. Did he have a cute butt? I wasn't looking at his butt. What were you looking at? I was looking at these pecs here. Oh. Hex. Oh. Not pecker. Hex. <laughs> Leave off that second syllable. It's just the first syllable. Hex. <laughs> Plumbing payday on Friday. And <laughs> okay. I'm, oh, God. Am I hired? Plumber's payday is on Friday and shit floats down and flows downhill. <laughs> Rick Clinch. <laughs> oh, he's coming up some good ones today. Okay, let's finish the story. Florida man Googles himself to find out what Florida man he is. I don't get this. New challenge making waves on social media pokes fun at Florida's reputation for producing strange news stories involving guns, drugs, booze, and reptiles. Jeez. <laughs> or some combination of the four. Yeah. The challenge invites uh, participants to run their birthday to run their birthday in Florida land through a search engine to find out which headlines pop up. <laughs> oh God, that's hysterical. <laughs> then they must post the results on social media. So you understand? They put their they put in on Google. Your birthday. So let's say my birthday is June 12th. And well, I mean, I'm just going to take some years off. 1982. No, <laughs> <laughs> so you in, say your birthday was June 12th, 1982. So you put in June 12th, 1982. Of course, that's not my birthday. You know that. And then you put Florida man. And then whatever the headlines were that used the word Florida man on about somebody in that birthday. Or you could just put the date June 12th, Florida man. And it would come up. So this man puts it in and what came up in the headlines was it was really him. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, that was really good. So that's anyway, Florida Man concept. Uh, that, yeah, I should do that. I mean, that's kind of fun. fun. Yeah. I should do that. that let's, let's try that. Hit my name and see what happens. Oh um, my God! I'd probably come up. Florida Man fires bomb garage that impounded fires bombs at garage that impounded his car and hits his own vehicle. <laughs> that's what came, and that was him. <laughs> well, that's bright, isn't it? Hits his own car. <laughs> Florida Man tried to pay McDonald's with weed. That was the same guy. <laughs> Uh, I got a hamburger and fry, I got a happy meal. Hey, can, I, can I give you like an ounce for that? Is that <laughs> no. legal, t legal tender? I'll give you an ounce. Mm -hmm. like, what do they call it? They don't call them doobies anymore. Yeah, they used to be two finger and three finger lids. That's what they call it. I'll give you one. They used to be lids. Two lids, yeah. Two finger and three finger lids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember that? Remember that, yeah. How many did they sell for? Five bucks or something? Uh, ten and ten. twelve. Yeah, I can't quite remember. Been a little <laughs> Damn it. That's why I can't remember. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, they had they call them lids, and then the little baggies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And then you lick the baggies and stay shut. <laughs> now you can just go to the store. Uh, okay. What? Just go to the store, buy it. Um so anyway, it's that, costly. 
It is expensive, but it's legal. What's that mean, legal? It means you can smoke it, not get caught. Well, you can or not illegal get it. No, how are they going to know? Wait a minute. This is yeah, not sure, the legal stuff. Know. You gotta be able to grow or find it, I guess. Right, how would they know? <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's, like it's got a, <laughs> a sensor on it. They do. They Did you see that job they posted in Denver that they're looking for somebody who will destroy 2,000 pounds? I got the, I got the job. Did you? Yeah. The pounds of, was it med- marijuana every yeah. month mm-hmm. that's unsold or considered not consumable? Or, well, the stuff they confiscate. Yeah, the stuff they confiscate. The job is you get hired to, to get rid of yeah. basically 2,000 pounds of marijuana. That's, that's I volunteered. Right. I said, I'll yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it for free. You have to pay me. And, and like, I'll sell it all, and then right when I get near the end, I'll let somebody burn me for a couple of lids. <laughs> <laughs> and say, hey, I got, I, I got it for it. I was just like, that's so weird. I mean, you don't stop and think about that. Wherever they're going to burn it, the people around it are going to be high for a month. You know, <laughs> they'll be like, okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I don't know. Um, oh, oh, here's something you wouldn't expect in Dallas. An escaped wallaby. You know, that's like a kangaroo, little kangaroo. Goes on a walkabout in the Dallas neighborhood. Apparently somebody had him as a pet. I do know you can have a kangaroo as a pet. A wallaby. And it got loose and it ran around the neighborhood, hopped all over people's yards and houses and, and chased it for a while and then finally caught it. There's the bunny suit marriage proposal. I don't want to talk about that. I can't stand it. Uh, oh, I mean, Man, he's a nude mannequin. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at oh, this. Is, <laughs> that sounds wrong, but it's really funny. Man <laughs> uses nude mannequin. Mannequins. 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 What do you say? Mannequin. Mannequin. So, uh, but look at, look at look at I have to say it right, but you said mannequin. Okay. No. Mannequin. Well, you can say mannequin. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, man uses a nude mannequin. Not for that. Not for what you're thinking. It's my <laughs> other to Send a message to noisy neighbors. Okay, let's see this story. This looks like it could be good. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, you guys, you got to find this. Go to APnews.com uh, under oddities and find this story. Because it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> You've got posing your all new mannequin. All right, so let's see what it says. Santa Rosa, California, Jason Windus gave his California neighbors something to look at during a dispute over the height of a backyard fence. Naked mannequins having a garden party. <laughs> <laughs> Four of the fashion dummies are seated in wicker chairs around a matching table. Another is standing with the arms over its head and shamrocks over its breast. <laughs> Must be a female. Okay, I guess so. Uh, the hand sprawled sign on a nearby wooden barrel reads, reserved seat for the noisy neighbors that complained about my fence to the nosy, not noisy, nosy neighbors that complained about my fence to the city. <laughs> <laughs> so he had all around the table and he had a seat reserved for his neighbors and they had all these mannequins that were doing naked and jumping around. Okay. And you picked and jumping around. Uh, they wanted me to tear down my fence to see inside my yard and now they get to he said <laughs> He was building a six-foot fence uh, at his home in Santa Rosa uh, so he could let his dogs in the backyard and he got his letter from the city saying it violated the ordinance along sidewalks to, to and so it basically said you can't have it higher than three feet. So apparently a neighbor trapped him. It was a six-foot fence like everybody else's around here. Winda said, why was he being singled out? It was because they were responding to a complaint. <laughs> so... He's going to make them wish they had a fence. <laughs> He's going to be like, okay, have fun with this, people. <laughs> They're, going wish they They're going to wish they had a fence, especially when he brings his mother over and puts her out there with the mannequins. <laughs> I'll put my 80-year-old mom out there naked and he'll run my cow. <laughs> Lindsay, who owns a moving company, said the mannequins he had picked up from a clothing store came to mind, and he pondered how to send a message to the neighbor. So he did, and he sent the message, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be next to him because that's funny. I mean, that's clever. He's going to be doing all kinds of things to make them wish they had a fence. <laughs> Look at her. She's taking pictures. You know, they're uh, walking by taking pictures. You know, I don't know. It, it's uh, not too bad, really. It would be annoying and ugly, though. I wouldn't want that next to me, necessarily. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. You here. want the real uh, the real stuff, ripped uh, uh, firefighters, right? That, yeah, that'd be okay. Would you be picking over the fence? cowboys. I love cowboys. Well, there's some cowboys over on the other side having a, a party, and they were like, Stripped way down. I'd watch him. <laughs> I would. You'd be over the six foot I mean, fence like this. <laughs> no, this is the knot hole. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that, right? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um that. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my luck. My luck would be like, I don't know. I, what it would be? It would be like a sumo wrestling convention. <laughs> 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 
Thanks. Get those sumo wrestlers. That's what I put next to it. Forget the mannequins. They might enjoy it. Get those sumo wrestlers in those little diapers. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Pat? Hey, you know the Rolling Stones are coming to Denver, but it wasn't a postponed. I don't know. The Rolling, I mean, I love the Rolling Stones. I saw them many times. Yeah, like now they're going to have, like, the, as you walk they in. It looks like they're dead. No, they're giving away free, uh, depends. Yeah. Ben Gay. <laughs> sponsored, yeah. Rolling Stones sponsored. Sponsored by Ben Ger- Gay. Ger- 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Silver, men, uh, what is that, uh, that vitamin, men, mentioned silver or whatever? <laughs> oh, my God. Silver plus vitamins. <laughs> Arthritic cream and, <laughs> and Viagra. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 here, kitty. Oh. I think they have to probably take yeah. 14 Viagra pills just to get those guys to be able to stand on stage. <laughs> oh! I, I mean, they're so, they look so bad. They do, don't they? Have you heard of that new oh. Viagra pill? That came out? Oh, no, which one? Did you? I, I need somebody to second demonstrate. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 It's John Hendricks. Hey, John. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, and no. And no. And then some no, more no. No. <laughs> but, but I, I mean, that was a perfect time to throw it in there. Richards and <laughs> and Mick Jagger, they look like been mummified. They are. They're horrible looking. They they uh, you they know what's like that I stuff said, that Donatello uh, <laughs> up there What's that stuff that <laughs> when they embalm you? Oh yeah. That's what they put in them. Like keep them embalming fluid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they keep them. Uh, yeah, they're probably dead. They, they motorize their hands and the kids are like just stand up. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said that about Dick Clark all the time. They would prop him up and put oh, no, him up there. Bad, he'd be, oh, oh, oh. I don't even know what year it was. He's like, my why were they putting him, why why they put him up there? He, 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 he knew his name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was wrong. Though. That was wrong. I think he looked terrible. Yeah, uh, so this is a weird thing. We'll get ready to get Judge suggests Hawaiian man. Okay, there's something wrong with this. He's on probation for like bank robbery or car theft. <laughs> car theft. And here's what happens to him when he's on probation. He has to avoid his favorite soda during the entire time. That he's on probation. Isn't that rough? <laughs> Let's see what the whole story what is. Kind of now you know the rest of the story. Thank you, Paul Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is in Walaluka. Waluku. Waluku, Hawaii. No, I think it's in Come On, I Want to Lay You, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they put those lays on, yeah. you, right? Uh, if you get one of those lays on, you Hawaiian judge have to... suggests that a man not drink his favorite soda. During 40 years of probation on car theft conviction. A judge was convicted. Yeah. Judge, oh gosh, she's got my name. Oh. Rhonda? Rhonda. Judge Rhonda Lou. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda Lou. Hey, Rhonda Lou. Was a hey, judge, oh, yeah, Rhonda Lou. If I was a judge and he, would, he, would, he wouldn't be on probation, he would be in jail all the damn time. <laughs> judge Rhonda Lou suggested in, my, in a Maui court last week that a 21-year-old, Christopher Montalano, Jr., refrain from drinking Pepsi. While on probation, because he lied to the police during his arrest. Hmm. Mally News reported this Saturday, okay? On Saturday, they told us. Uh, Montalano told officers that his cousin had allowed him to drive the stolen car and, while he was on his way to buy soft drinks. So that's a good punishment. Since you like soft drinks and you were driving the stolen vehicle, you can't have soft drinks anymore. Hail Ronda Lou. What well, Ronda Lou's got her head up her loop. I mean, in the loop. Oh my god. In the loop. In the loop. Um You didn't want to admit that you actually stole the vehicle, Lou told you said, because you because the soda made you do it. That's what that, that was the yeah, that was his defense. The soda made him do it. He had to have soda. Well, I'm not gonna steal cars anymore and I don't want to be in jail no more. Uh, this is a brainchild, isn't he? Uh, Lou also sentenced him to 100 hours of community service oh, and a $100 fine. Working at the Pepsi Club. Isn't that tough? You steal a car mm-hmm. and you have to do 100 hours of community service and can't drink Pepsi for four months. And you have to $100 fine. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go play. I mean, what in the hell is wrong with our judicial system? You stole a car. That's put Ronda it in jail. Lou. That's Judge Ronda Lou. Uh, That's why. Oh, my God. Yes, my child. Oh, the, oh wait, they corrected the story. He, it wasn't that the judge sentenced him to not drinking Pepsi. He only got sentenced to the $100 and 100 hours of community service. She just suggested that he don't drink anything. Oh, it's just a suggestion. It's a suggestion. You know, and I suggest you don't steal cars. I suggest they vote <laughs> that bitch out. <laughs> Put somebody in that has some guts and put them away. <laughs> that can My God. It was probably her brother's other's mother's mother's son's know, former roommate's cousin. Judge, you know, oh, I'm so sorry for your life. Well, you know, I'm sorry for your life too, but you don't have to be a criminal. 
<laughs> anyway, oh, Lord, I I, I, I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous. All right, so let's find another ridiculous story. We've only got time for a couple more, and then we're going to end our lovely oh, hour together. Oh, Oh, God, okay, there's a <laughs> Mexican <laughs> police. This is probably where you were at. Yeah, probably, that was me. Um, were you dressed up as a man? No, but I was I was uh, driving the front loader to the window. Um, <laughs> let's see what, oh, where'd it go? Where'd our story go? Oh, there okay. it is. Okay. Uh, Mexico City. Police in Mexico say they caught a man who stole a front loader, that drove it into a local bank, <laughs> knocked down the wall, chained a safe to the machine, and tried to drag it off. Okay. And that's not very discreet. <laughs> okay. Prosecutors in the central state of Moral, moral, what is it? Morales. Morales. Um, say the loader had a front, had a front bucket as well, uh, as a jackhammer, and the thief used it to destroy the wall of the bank. They chained the bank safe to the vehicle and then drug it off. They didn't get too far. No. <laughs> uh, there's a front loader going three miles an hour dragging a bank safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, if, at least they didn't do it with a little Debbie truck. That other guy. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little Debbie truck falling by. Oh my God. Okay, well, they didn't get too far and they got caught. All right. <laughs> they use surveillance a, cameras to dumbest, locate the man. We should man. do a show on dumb bank robbers. <laughs> that was the dumbest bank robbery I think I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, that's just crazy. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, God. All right. So you know, one of the best bank robberies happened in Denver. I was that old guy, right? Yes, the old I guy. That and guy. he got away with all the money. Everybody loves him. I mean, yeah, he's I a legend him. here. This guy, for, he's old. Mm -hmm. And he, he planned it out. He though. planned out, the, yes, and he robs the banks. They never catch him. Uh -uh. <laughs> and he, he's a gentleman robber, they used to call him or something, right? Yeah. And he robbed like three banks because he didn't have enough money to retire. And I guess they told him that in the notes, if I yeah. remember correctly. I can't so retire from so robbing the bank, sorry. And <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my retirement plan. Oh, and he man. got away with it. He got away with it. And everybody loved it. Yeah. think it would be mad, but for some reason, people liked it. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's like ahead. 80 years old, he robbed three banks, got away with it. It's <laughs> like, yeah, good, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. You're going to come and put it in the bank for safekeeping. Yeah, he probably went to another bank, probably robbed first bank and went over to Key Bank and deposited it. <laughs> Nobody caught him. <laughs> My God. Uh, well, anyway, what else is going on here? Let's talk about minutes. the weather. The we oh, I missed all that, you know. I missed she missed the all the weather. The bomb here. cyclone, the snowmageddon. Listen to what they, <laughs> whatever they it was named it. A bomb cyclone blizzard. Yes. They um, must have known, known what they were doing. Let's see what's on the. Let's see what the it was Carly Simon. Nice. And all those songs are about my cat. And so we were down here in the studio for three solid days. <laughs> the whole building was out of power, out of uh, heat. I was everything. in Mexico. And she's in Mexico. Oh, Denver's number one streaming oh, station. This is Ron Deshay, and we've got time for oh, one that's last me. song. Oh, that was on the air. <laughs> the last song. Cat Stevens did all the songs today were in honor of my cat, Boo Boo, so it, some of them were easy to figure out why. I, I used the wrong reasons. word when I came in there. She says, don't just say that. Yeah, so you can't say it. Um, <laughs> I've been saying everything else. <laughs> you've, been, you've been bad today. Been, he's been bad. He missed me, so he had to be extra bad. Yeah, that's good. We're bonded. Like, you know, but we got through the three days being out of power. Out, I mean, the studio was totally dark, black. But after five days, it fell back up. And so we ran into some serious, serious deal. I wasn't, I missed it. I felt bad for everybody as I was laying on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> uh, I, I felt. I did. I felt Listen how sorry you look. Do the, the really sorry look. <laughs> I felt really bad for everyone here. I just want to say that I spent my time practically tears thinking how hard it was for you all to dig out. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> Your bomb blizzard. Yeah. Armageddon blizzard. Snowmageddon. That's what it was called. Snowmageddon. That was great. How about all the avalanches, though? I thought we had like 400 yeah. in a week. And all that's natural. We're in the way. I know. Yeah. Well, all of it. Yeah. Some of it was caused by skiers that were skiing on the lips, and they shouldn't be at this time. Boom, that's scary. Kill themselves. Yeah, I know. It's like, you dummies. Knock it out. <laughs> skiing, baby. You're knock it out. Skiing. There's no way. <laughs> I was up skiing uh, Friday. Yesterday. How was and, it? Oh, my God. It's you come from the beautiful tundras of Mexico up to the snow pack. Uh, life is hard sometimes. <laughs> and then you come and you have to deal with me. Somebody has to do it. And uh, you know, I took it on myself. You're taking one for the team. I'm right? taking one for the team because you know, tourism and skiing is our number one industry. And uh, it's very important to I don't want to do it, but 
I, you know, it's so important to keep people in those jobs. So I, I go every week. I, I go every week. Okay. Okay. Out of sense of duty. <laughs> 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 you really were getting it. Oh, God. All right. Hey, uh, you like my haircut? Beautiful haircut. Okay, great. Yeah. No, I can't. No, no you're, his wife is training so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does I get my haircut? See? My haircut? I did it myself. I'm trained, really. I bought those things at Wal- Walgreens and I just like Let me tell you what she does. Okay, so I'm in the studio and I'm with a good looking chick. I go home, she goes, No, that one pops up. Oh yeah. The other ones. Well, oh, let's give it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Too big. You, you have to. You have to pay her. That's no, what I'm she saying. has to pay you when you're with me. <laughs> Here, honey. You, you can have money. Stay with her. <laughs> Stay with that loser. No. <laughs> They're on hey, there's Richard Balls is watching. Hey, Balls. Balls on fire. There she is. <laughs> Shit fire. Say balls. <laughs> You always like to pick on her. You know? Yeah, you love I love her. her, man. I know. He loves you. Yes. Austin Henry loves you. Yes. I'm telling you that right now. Ron <laughs> always brags about you. I do not. Yeah, you I, I, I just put on the phone because everybody was here. <laughs> <laughs> we next to include your show, right? That's it. All right. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you in two weeks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be posting the uh, uh, radio feed on my Facebook page on the WTF Radio Network Facebook page. So if you haven't got that, check it out. If you get it. Follow me, like me, poke me, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is that poke about? I don't I mean, know. What is it poke? I don't know. They always people. Poke. They poke you. I know. It's weird. I don't know why they like to poke you. I don't know. But, I, but if you do have that stuff in real life, you go to jail. So don't. Don't do <laughs> be poking people. Yeah, don't be poking people. <laughs> See y'all later. Right? See you later. Right. Mm-hmm. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, the other show was up here. What? You know how you said it, it lost it? It was up there.